Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to simplify and express this expression in exponential form. For solving this we are going to be using the exponential laws which we are going to discuss as we use it. So let us start by finding the factors of 32. So factors of 32 are 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 which can be written in exponential form as 2 raised to power 5. Similarly, factors of 4 are 2 times 2 which can be written as 2 square. So now let us come back to our question and we are going to replace this 4 and 32 as 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 5 respectively. So here we have 2 cube times 3 to the power 4 times 4 in place of 4 we are going to write 2 square divided by 3 times 2 to the power 5. The next step will be we have 2 raised to power 3 and 2 raised to power 2. So here we see that 2 cube and 2 square are getting multiplied. So when the bases are same and the numbers are multiplied, their powers get added. So this will be 2 raised to power 3 plus 2 times 3 raised to power 4 divided by 3 times 2 raised to power 5. And we have used the exponential law where a raised to power m times a raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m plus n. When the bases are same, the numbers are multiplied, the powers get added. Now we have 2 raised to power 5 times 3 raised to power 4 divided by 3 times 2 raised to power 5. Here we see that 2 raised to power 5 is in the numerator and it is in the denominator too. So these two gets cancelled. And we have 3 raised to power 4 in the numerator divided by 3. Now this can be reduced to 3 raised to power 4 minus 1. Here we have used an exponential law where a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n. When the bases are same and the numbers are getting di divided then the powers get subtracted. So here we have 3 as the base which is same and the power in the numerator is 4 and the power in the denominator is 1. So after applying this law we have 3 raised to power 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3 cube. So our final answer is 3 cube and it is in the exponential form as it is asked. So this is how by making use of the exponential laws we can easily simplify the expressions. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.